Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. We're playing a new game today. I think it's recently released. It's called Scramble, and it's by, I believe, by the same people who made the crossword. At least that's what I was told on Discord. So it should be interesting. I looked at the first page of the rules and made a capture for it, and I'm hoping my capture is good. If not, then you'll get to watch me adjust my capture when we get into the game. I have no idea what it looks like. Going in with basically no information about it, but it should be interesting. It's a word game by crosswordle people. How it must be interesting. Uh, to some extent. Anyway, let's give it a try. I'm going to start with mixed because it's kind of like scrambled. I don't know. Well, we get an M. There's no X in, in this dortle, unfortunately. Um, let's get a bunch of really good letters. How about stray? I like that. Whoa, a non-terminal Y, as the asylum would say. Uh, oh, is it mer? It is mer. Okay, and... I'm thinking this ends in SH, but I'm also thinking how it ends in SH. Uh, plush. Ooh, close. Okay, so we got flush, we've got blush. If it's just those two, I'll gamble on it. But if there's more, I th uh, it's not slush, because it can't start with S. I think it's just flush and blush. And if it's not, I'm gambling that there's not two more after that. So let's go with flush. Okay, blush. Okay, unfortunate. Um, okay, well, got a little unlucky there at the end, but wasn't much to do about that. Um, Mer was a great spot. I mean, but what else was it going to be with a non-terminal Y and an M and R placed like that? I don't think there's any other words. Um, and once you know that Mer exists, you're always on the lookout for it. I don't think it's come up very often recently, though, so good, good to see you again, Mer. All right, let's do the chordal. We're starting with Mer and blush if i remember right maybe i don't um i mean this y at the bottom right is assuredly at the end um but it could be a number of things i think <laughs> that mu is interesting what goes between the m and the u is mau mou maybe like mount i think mount is good mount is correct yes i don't think there was much left it couldn't have been mouth all right SL something something T on the top right. I mean, it could just be sleet. Yeah, with the double E. That's the, yeah, the weather thing. Um, I think it's only sleet, but also I don't think it's worth getting sleet wrong at this point. Um, so let's look at like SM words. Um, I can get an E in my guess, maybe. Although I kind of want to do smack here. <laughs> smack is fun. Let's try that. Oh, scamp. OK. Top right is SL. Let's see. This is S A. Oh, Savoy. Wow. OK. And I guess I'm guessing sleep. OK, it was sleep the whole time. Sleep wouldn't have really helped these other words, though, so that's fine. Cool. Uh, fun solve. Uh, I think smack was very good here. I don't. I don't mind the smack. Mount was great. I knew this was sleet for a while. Savoy is a good spot too. Yeah, I think I did pretty well on this portal. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. All right. Um, like an onk and a scarab. kind of ancient religious things, maybe papyrus, though I don't know about that. All right, I'm going to have to hold off on that because I'm not sure. Impact and times are fonts. Papyrus is a font. What's the other font? Courier is a font. Is there another font? I'm going to say no. I'm going to use fonts here. There we go. OK. I still think Ankh and Scarab probably go together, but I could be wrong about that. Pulling and sliding and swinging are just, oh no, these are not other than pull. These are, these are things you find in a playground. The seesaw as well. 
I think this is it. I think this is just playground stuff. Okay. So far, so good. Um, this I'm not so sure about. We got the purple one already, so they can't be that hard. Can they? <laughs> okay, pull and sway are synonyms, as is weight and clout. I think these are synonyms. Yes, influence. Now, crook, I, onk, and scarab. I knew onk and scarab would go together. I don't... Okay, here's my guess. My guess is these are hieroglyphics. Close enough, right? Very nice. Okay, I did very well on that today. Um, not much to say. Uh, how'd you do? All right, let's give Scramble a try. I have the help up here. Objective. Guess as many valid words as possible for each row of scrambled grid letters. So we have scrambled grid letters and they're colored. A valid guess is one that satisfies all of the following conditions. It's a real English word. Oh, okay. It's made up of letters found anywhere in the grid. It follows the tile color rules of at least one row in the grid. So we need, to, we need like the word, if we wanted to match this row, it would have to start with S and then contain a D and a Y. But then we could use any other letters from the mix. Interesting. Tile colors. The letters in the row in this column, letters, different Okay, so these are wordle clues. When they're repeated letters, the green tiles are colored first, then yellow tiles are colored from left to right. Yep. So it's, it's colored just like wordle. Let's take a look at an example. Other matches the top row. Punch, yep. Pinch also rings. Matches row three. Okay, this is exactly what I'm expecting. For the same grid, here are some invalid words. The grid doesn't have a D, so we can't do older. Too many T's, there's only one T in the grid. Okay. Yeet is not a valid word. Oh, come on. Yeet should be a valid word. All right. Each game is scored based on the number of words you find. Plus one, every word is worth one point. Every set of five words where each word matches a different row in the grid is worth a bonus multiplier. Where's me guess in any order and still receive the bonus? Okay, so just get words, get get points, basically. We hope you enjoy playing the game. Enjoy scramble. Happy face. All right. Oh, 10 minutes or less. All right, well, we're timed. Um, so we've got... I think this second row is a good one to focus on because we have most of the letters for it. Um, U-R-S-E. So curse, is there a C in the grid? No. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, purse. Wait, P U R. Oh, the S is. Can't use the S that early. Oh, so it's not U R S E. Um, maybe U S E R. I can't think of a word like that. Muser, maybe? Okay, muser is a word. All right, let's look at a different word. Um, Let's look at the top row. Maybe end in NK. Can I do stink? Oh, there, we, we know there's no T in the words. So we can't do stink. Um, okay, we can do shank. Um, spank. Thank. No, there's no T. Can I do known? Is there another N? Yeah, I can do known. Oh, there's no W in the grid. <laughs> I was like, there's another N. All right. Um, let's look at row three now. Um, I'm going to try to get a nice spread across the rows because you get bonus points for that. N and U somewhere in the word. Um, no A. It's probably like on something. Un... Unto. <laughs> Can I do unite? Okay, there's no I, which is interesting. It'd be kind of nice to have a keyboard to scan. That would be my feedback at the moment. <laughs> um, I suppose you're supposed to scan the, the grid. Okay, I'm going to move on because I can't think of a word. G-R-E. We can do great. We can do great like this. G-R-A-T-E. Oh, I thought this was points. This is the row it comes from. <laughs> okay. Um, I think, oh, we could do grime, except there's no I. How about gamer? 
think gamer works. Um, Rager. Okay, I've got a lot from that row. So let's look at the next row. Uh, TH maybe. Oh, I can do think, but it's the fifth row, not the top row. Uh, can't do think because there's no I. Um, I can do ethos. That's a, oh no, there's no E in, in the last word. No E or U, so I have to use O. O or U. Um, or A. I did use A a bit uh, once. <laughs> Time constraints are never good for me. <laughs> How about THR? Can't use the E though. How about, oh, I can't do stash because it can't end in H. All right, I'm going to go back to the, the second word because I didn't come up with anything other than muser. Um, oh, and I didn't get anything for the third word. I need the, I need at least one for the third word. Is there a Y? I can do nutty. Um, how about O? How about like O U something or N O U? I can't do O U N D because there's no there's no D in the word. But I'm thinking O U N. There's so, something O U N. I can't do A U N T. There'd be a bunch of those. I can't think of an O U N T word. Oh, count, but there's no C. All right, maybe I should try to think of another word that uses S U R and E. Maybe shirred. That's a word. Okay. S T is. Ah, no, I can't. I can't do that. Um, okay, I need I need one more from three and one more from five, ideally. Let's look at five, another TH word. Um, how about SH and then like a T somewhere? Obviously a T somewhere. Shats, not a word, okay. Shots is a word, okay. Yeah, I can do plurals for most of these. Um, something like four is a word? No. Thrum? No, there's no U. All right, I should get I should get one for the third word. Another one for the third word. Um, I wonder if focusing on a word is better. If moving around is better. I think it probably depends on the person. What am I doing with this U? Maybe U something N Y. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but I can't do N N Y, which is kind of a problem. Or I could do N U something something Y. I don't see it though. Darn, I don't see anything. Un something? It seems like there should be an un something. Can't do unite or yon tie. Um, or maybe maybe like on and then a u. Have I thought about a, a plural? Maybe un. No, it can't be plural. There's no s in the word. That makes it harder. Un I can't do even do unpay. Uh, <laughs> I don't even think unpay is a word, but I can't do it. Um, I come back to it, but I really need I need another word. Okay, well let's. I mean, how many words are in the second row? Okay, let's think of another word that uses this n k ending. Um,
drunk. I think I can do drunk. Yes. Um, can't do trunk because there's no T. Okay, now I have three for that row. So maybe something for the last row. Three? No, there's no E in the word. Did I get thrum? Oh, I can't use the ew. Can't do other. All right, I just need anything. I'm down to a minute and a half. There's gotta be words that end in Y other than nutty. Um. Something like Surrey a word. Sure. Can't do it. Can't do an S. Um, I wonder. I, I bet I'm missing a ton of words. I don't feel like I did very well. But I don't have a sense of like, let's see, greet is a word. We can do that. We can also do great. I think I already did great. Uh, I'm getting a lot on that G on that fourth word. Um, I don't have a good sense of like how many words I'm supposed to be finding, but I I I don't think I found un pet un. I don't know. Can't do unset. Oh, I'm out of time. I can't think of anything else. All right. Um, it's 26 points. Okay. Show all solutions. I missed a lot. So drank, prank, and spunk I missed on the top. Okay. Sure. How are there so many? Sure, usher, serum, super, and surge. Bunch of ER words. I thought I thought about that. I thought about Muser. Okay, they were all starting with S. Oh, unmet? I tried unpet. <laughs> I think I was trying to think of an O-U-N-T word and I couldn't, but mount certainly is one. Mourn. Grunt. I'm just bad at this game. That's That's my conclusion. Grade, agree, argue, purge. It's not like I don't know these words. Thorn. I think one part of my problem with scanning these words is I keep seeing yellows from other columns and I'm scanning it like a wordle and I'm like, oh, the R can't go there. But yeah, th there's a scanning issue too for me because I'm so used to scanning up at other like other yellows that I discount the possibilities. I don't know. Maybe if I try again, I'll get better, but I, I don't know. I'm really bad at games like this for some reason. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I think conclusion is I did very poorly on this. I also don't like time limits, but I guess the time limit's better than just me struggling for half an hour trying to get, you know, a third of the words. All right, let's do polygonal. I am an expert. I checked earlier. All right, we're going to look at ing. Seems like it might be tough. Just because of this n placement. Um I can do on or something, on or on. Untoying. <laughs> um Unrobing? Oh, must match the pattern. Oh, it has to repeat. Right. It has to repeat this. Um, 
that's even harder. Un like unusing, but unushing. Uh, I don't know if I like this. A N A. No, I don't like the I N G ending, but I also don't know what I like. Um, maybe like re. Re-ranted. Something like that, right? Re... What if it was D, though? And then we can end in R. D... Obviously not like that, but D... Hmm... I don't know. I'm not sure what other letter to try here. R seemed okay with the ED ending. re -runed. Oh, that's not long enough. re <laughs> The show was re uh, re Re-rinsed. Reruled? No, that doesn't work. I keep only doing two letters. Um, Reranted. I think a lot of these re words aren't in the dictionary, which makes it a kind of a problem. Rerounded. I'm just getting the feeling I'm not going to be able to get this. <laughs> I haven't even gotten close. So I'm just going to do machine and see if that's even an E. It is even an E. And this is an M. I don't even know if I would have thought of trying M. It doesn't end in ED. So it probably ends in ER. I should be able to get this. Maybe ear? Mem. Oh, memories. It's a plural. OK. Interesting. Machined wins again. <laughs> uh, only 33 words match the pattern, and only five are common words. So the only reword it would have accepted is rerouted. I wonder what's special about rerouted over all these other rewords I tried. There's also re-raise, re-railed, re-racked, re-roots. I, I should have been able to find a reword. But would it have helped memories? I'm not sure. Yeah, a little bit. Might have been able to get it. Peptides. I was actually thinking if there was a way to use P, but I didn't think of peptides, that's for sure. Eternity is fun. I like that. Gigantic. Okay. Well, I got it. I had to do this filler though. Let's do the mini. Ooh, it's not it's not the double <laughs> pattern there. Um starts and ends the same letter. Something like an R maybe? Yeah, I think I've done river here a bunch. We'll try it again. Not an R. D maybe? Without the E, it's harder. Um, what would I want to do? I don't have an I either. I always struggle when river is all gray. I seem, I seem to remember this struggle before, and I, I never learn. Um, I can get letters by doing a, a plural. I just don't think it's going to be plural, but we can do like spats or even spots. Oh, well, it does start now with S. So what do I know? Um, Solus. Apparently solus is a word. I didn't even think it was. Um, sodas? 
Hold on. What what is this that it's not plural? Uh, I might be in the danger zone here, but maybe not. Just double checking. There's not a letter I should already know about. Um. I'm a bit lost. Oh, sofas, maybe? Okay, so there are plurals in Polygonal Mini. <laughs> okay, I didn't think there were. Well, there we go. Got it. Sofas. That's tough if there's plurals. Maybe there's only plurals if the S repeats. That would make sense. All right, let's do the symbol. Start with blaze. Ends in E. Um, House. Rouse. Let's do rouse. Oh. Okay. Um, double O maybe or you know, posse is a possibility. Don't like the word, but it is an answer, I think. Um, okay, not that. It's not poise either. I should have guessed poise. Poise is much better for a lot of reasons. Um, it could be noose, another word I don't like. Okay, a different oose word. Goose. Goose I like. Goose is nice. Okay. All right. Another five, of course. <laughs> Just waddled my way. <laughs> waddled my way into the answer there. Not much to say. All greens. Didn't even get to use the symbol logic. <laughs> Just guessed that that was green, that was gray, and that was true, and I never got to learn what the third symbol was. I love those solves. All right, Fusel. We're starting with Goose. There's an S somewhere. Could be anywhere. Uh, so this one, it's not telling us. It's ambiguous between yellow and green. Grays are gray. This one, we just have to use a vowel second. That's that's all. The dotted one has to be a vowel. This one gives us warmal style hints, so it's going to be alphabetically close to the letter. This one's just banning DMR, TXY. So we should probably check T and R at least early. Um, in this, it's like Fibble. We're going to get a lie in one of the colors. And these, uh, the coloring is like symbol. So blue instead of yellow. And the blue clues are being that a different letter in the word goes in that slot. OK. So I have to use a vowel here. Let's get the uh, A out of the way. And I want to use R and T. If I can. I could do an hasty trap word. Hasty, pasty. I like hasty. Let's try that. Oh, I really like hasty. What is this word? If I can get this now, that would be great because the T is going to be banned here. Um, what am I thinking here? I'm not sure. My initial thought was S-H-A and then a Y. Oh, shady. I think it's shady. Darn, and now I can't guess it. Oh, I was saying I can't guess the T, but I absolutely can't. Uh, I don't need to. So, oh, I can't guess the Y. That's, that's going to be a problem. So I can't get the answer, but not for the reason I thought. So what else goes S-H-A something Y? Shaky with a K? I can test that. Let's do black. It is, okay. All right, would have gotten that in four had it let me. 50-50 um, between shady and shaky, I think. Cool, not bad. Hasty definitely worked out well. Let's do the blind version. So in this one, this, just, this specific tile is incognito and won't give us uh, any info, but we can still start with shaky. So we don't know if there's an H or not, but we know there's no S, A, K, or Y in the word. This one's just going to give us greens. If it's yellow, it's going to show up gray. Um, so I think doing eerie here is probably a good idea, because if there's going to be an E, maybe we'll catch it. All right, we caught an E second. Um, here we're forced to use I, N, and E here, so there's only very few words we can even guess. Um, inset is an option, but I'm trying to, oh, inlet is probably better, because we need the L. Oh, there's two E's in the word, wow. I missed one of the E's. I guessed three E's and I missed one of them. 
Um, the reason these didn't show up yellow is because we don't get yellows in this clue. This one, we can guess anything but a real word. So there's no reason to put E's there because we can't get the answer anyway. Um, but what am I thinking? I'm thinking something like seven, but there's no S. Um, in fact, could it be, an, it could it be a... I don't know, I should test R at the end. I should test N in like both of these slots just to find out where it goes. Um, maybe, I don't even know what to, what else? Maybe a W somewhere and a P somewhere. Got it, it's newer. All right, <laughs> the ultimate filler. <laughs> Worked out well. All right, well, that's it. Those are the games for today. Hope you enjoy them. Tell me what you thought about Scramble. Um, I'm sure most of you did better than me. I don't know. I just couldn't think of words. <laughs> maybe maybe it'll take some practice to scan it more properly. Um, or maybe I just need to work on my unscrambling abilities. <laughs> I'm never very good at unscrambling. It does, it's not really unscrambling, though. It's just thinking of as many words as possible that match those colors and hoping you have those letters. Um, which I, you'd think I'd be better at, but anyway. Um, I do think part of the issue, if we want to go back to here, part of the issue was using the yellows in, improperly from above. Like if I'm, if I'm scanning this here, I'm thinking, oh, this can't be R, this can't be E. And it's really hard to, maybe I need to like cover it up and just think about words that way. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to think about. Anyway. This was fun. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.